right, here we go. Bye bye. Let's get this dub. Uh, minimize, there we go. All right, so TFF Elios, no surprise. Zoe, Lee Sin, but with Tarek in here as a one of? That's kind of weird. So what is it? It's um, two Zoe, three Lee Sin, one Tarek, and then Shen Fiora. This is one of the worst case scenarios for me, to be honest. Double Ionia matchup. Let me look here. So this has um, two Nopify, one Bastion, two Deny. This is Shen Fiora, just four Deny. Oh, four denies. XD. Three deny, one nopify. Alright. Three screeching, two to three, a bright steel. TF Aphelios looking very standard. Seen it once, seen it before. This is kind of weird. This is like, I think this deck can brick, can't it? It's even got a gifts in here, which is kind of strange, but I mean, playing a bunch of spells, playing Lee Sin. Can't go wrong with that strategy. Random Taric. One Bastion. Only one Bastion for protection. Double Hushed. Like, th this deck is so weird. A couple Spell Thieves. Um, okay, so I guess I ban Fiora Shen, and I play into these, and just have to deal with them. These are really hard matchups across the table, minus um, I have a winning matchup of Mono SI versus TF Aphelios. Yeah. This is the most refined deck he has, even it's kind of like weird on the numbers. I just need to get rid of it because that beats all of my decks. Like, Eventually, except for Deep. My blades will find their way into your heart. It, Deep is okay into Fiora Shen, but if he bans it, then he has two winning matchups with it, so I have to get rid of it. And whoever just followed, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome, and much love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's what's gonna have to be. Ban Fiora Shen, deal with this crap. He probably leads Aphelios TF. Which means I should lead Mono SI if it's up. And if I lose with Mono SI, then this gets taken away. So I think that's my best chance of winning. And also, whoever just followed, thank you as well. I'll get to your names after the game, I hope. Um... Yeah, if he bans deep, then it's mono SI lead and then pirate aggro after, because I need to try to take this away. I don't want to lose to this. Like, I don't want to play pirate aggro and lose to this, because then I have to play double bad matchups into this. No, thank you. If he bans pirate, it's the same deal. I have to lead mono SI. And if he bans mono SI, then... um. I guess I lead deep and then anchor pirate. Yeah. So those are all of my possible plays. Let's take a look at it again. Just try to get a feel for it in the next 90 seconds. One Sketcher, two Zoe. So he only has three one drops. There's a high likelihood that he just doesn't draw a uh, turn one play. Then turn two is I or go. Very standard Lee Sin fashion after that for a little while, but it's also got Sparklefly, very standard nowadays. One Sunblast, two Hush, two Mentor, three Zenith, one Bastion, two Palm, only two Palm, two Deny, one Tarek. It's so weird to have Tarek in here. Deep Med. And Lee Sin. Yeah. I feel like this is just like a slightly unrefined version of Lee Zoe. Like there's so much spice going on here, it's just kind of weird. It's kind of hard to play around numbers because of the same reason, but this looks so standard. Two Bastion, three Star Shaping, three Guiding, three Pale, three Sun Blessed. Yeah, this is no surprise, this one. So, yeah, we'll get rid of this. We'll get rid of this. Then we'll play into these two. 30 seconds left, let's take a breather, take a drink. Hmm. Bye-bye. Okay, let's see what he bans. Pirate. So, I lead Mono SI, was my plan. And if I lose, I lose to this. If I win, I beat over this. Let's see what his lead is. Oh, 
I think that was good. Yeah, this is right. So I get a winning matchup game one. All right. Let's do it. I'm attacking on evens. That's already good. I got harrowing, which is good. Culling is good. Vile feast early. Eh. It's good in the spacey. I guess I play reactive this game. I kind of want to pitch vile. We'll keep. We'll keep this hand. Scooter's really good into an Aphelios play if I just pass the first couple turns. And then I'll find stuff to play later. All I need is Hecarim and then I'll be good to go. I'm gonna pass no the first two hiding. turns just so I have maximum mana. Alternatively, I could do a Wraith play here, but no, definitely let's pass. Then we'll do Skitter Calling on his uh, Thalios. Spilled paint is just oh, accidental never mind. Art. I don't think he has a Thalios then. That's what that play means. Okay. We'll do Miswraith then. We'll do Wraith attack. Get in two damage real quick like. I have Vile for 2-1 next turn. I have Culling for Aphelios if he somehow plays it for some reason, which I don't think he will. Or I save it for TF most likely. Double spacey, wow. <laughs> he opened all his one drops, kinda funny. That's not the best for him. Oh yeah, that's a pretty sparkle fly. Oh, and he had to pitch a hush. Alright. Well, Withering Well is high value now. But of course I'd like to save that for a Burble Fish. Mm, sure, we'll just do this then. Obviously this is uh, a pass now. Oh, JK. Serpent. Okay. That makes sense to me. So it's probably TF Gold if I had to guess, and you could snipe my Skitter. I have Elise plus I Calling Strike. In the shadows. So if he does play TF here, it's dead, and it will either kill my Skitter, or he'll do red or blue, who knows. Even TF blue into Pale is not enough to save him from Calling, because Pale would put him at 3 attack. We could use a bite. This is a very nice hit to get in. Five damage here, I get to summon a body, probably hits 2 2, leaving everything at 1 HP. Which would be a really nice withering for me Let's if I top deck it. No, he wants to trade unit for unit. And pale there. That's a good play. I don't think I want to culling. It could be a uh, Vile Feast play here. Just to trade. I need a save calling for champion. And I don't need Elise to live. It's okay. And I want to do this during combat so he doesn't use Guiding Touch to heal. If he wants to pale, then he's got pale. Whatever. We must all make sacrifices. Every Kindler, if all else fails. Okay, there's the Aphelios. That's fine. I go into next turn with 6 mana so I can do skitter culling. Oh, and I got my withering too for the burbles. So, so far so good. I just need a top deck uh, Hecarim. Hecarim wins me the game. Just outright. <clears throat> sure, that's fine. Only a fool would enter battle up prepared. Um... He definitely attacks this turn, right? Regardless, I'm just going to Culling now. In case I do pass and he accepts it, then I won't be able to Culling a Fellows as safely as I can this turn. So just whipping it out now is good to go. Can't do anything about it with 2 mana, because Pale would keep him in Culling Strike range. Skitter combo, easy clap. So 2-4 hits 3-2. Um, I guess it's probably going to be his only attack unless he has something else. Sniper. Get down, we got a sniper. Bring a foot and shoot the home, pal. Oh, okay. This play makes sense too. This is fine. Because this box supposed to go back up to three attack now. Yeah, that's a good value trade. 
Kind of wish I had the uh, Hecarim here. Hecarim would be insane, wouldn't it? Pass. That's fine. I'm fine with passing this. Now I'm not, so now I do this. I'm not going to trade either because I have Withering Whale. Obviously, it's pretty good for me. Might have to do a harrowing turn next turn just to try to win. It's going to be really hard. Otherwise, ugh, Star Shaping invoking big boy. He can't play it this turn though, which is nice. Whatever it is. I wouldn't doubt it's the Phoenix. Wouldn't doubt it for a second. Thinking hard about it. So I have 10 mana, it's definitely gonna be a Wraith Withering. I float one so I can Harrowing. Yeah, I don't growing actually. It's our time. Paint your feelings. Because if I harrowing, then it's not gonna be that strong. Not a lot of high value things have died yet. I'm not gonna ramp up rates or anything. I have to wait a turn on that, I believe. So I think it's gonna be withering, wraith collar, and then maybe rekindler next turn. It sucks to lose my withering to a non verbal fish board though. for open attack, I believe. We will be free. Second Aphelios. Okay. I really need my heck, man. Hecarim would have won me the game already. I'd be winning the game on this Harrowing right now. Skitter, huh? That's not bad. Neither is Rekindler. What can he play? Mm, I think it's Skitter. Skitter puts both of these outside of Fearsome Blocking Range. He can react with one gun. One gun is fine. If he snipes 4 3, then Fearsome goes through. If he snipes 4 2, then this still goes through in his uh, favor attack for me. Shendum is also a-okay. Oh, if I had um, risen this. Oh. That second hush. Because he pitched one earlier. I gotta do something before this gets out of control. This about to be really annoying. I think I'm in a good spot to win with Harrowing though. Because I'm gonna get three skitters out of it, and that's like extremely powerful. Oh, Vengeance is hype. What? That's so good for me. It baits a Bastion, or it just kills a Felios. Could I beat them? Okay. Graviton. Sure, I don't know why you wouldn't just trade a box to put into it though. Doesn't make a lot of sense to me. And then another Crescendum. Isn't he out of box to <laughs> No, he's got another one. 12 mana. Can't do both of these. Yeah, I think it's time to Vengeance then. Because that was his weapon. 
I figured maybe he does like a heal weapon and then I'd use Vengeance as a response to Aphelios getting weaponed up. But he's got the Bastion. Alright. You got it. With a nice embrace. Yeah, he could kill me with like three burble fishes, but he ain't got him. Out, I'm surprised he doesn't want to trade three one into four three. Guess he wants to lower my harrowing value. Oh, Hecrum, too little, too late, man. And whoever just followed, I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, and much love. Three skitters, bruh. That's a lot of zapping of his uh, attack points. He even pushes Aphelios below the range. And another follow, really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Full fierce on board. It's kind of funny. Sniper. It's like his third sniper this game. Okay, well that threatens exact lethal. Unless he has a pale cascade here or another bastion. He has to have a damage amp. Because yeah, this is exactly zero. That works for him. And whoever else just followed. Much love. Thank you, thank you. I'm getting my ass handed to me because I didn't get my Hecarim early enough. Big boy heal. Mm, I have two blockers. Kind of nice, but I can't do anything about Burble. TF blue. Blue as the serpentine. Okay. That's okay. I think he wins on open, right? Oh yeah, definitely now. I have to top deck like another vengeance or something. Crazy. Not good enough. Yeah, that's lethal. He just grabs spider, open attacks with uh, 10 damage. He could make the mistake of flying something though. Oh, never mind. That is good enough. One candle for every soul. That is game. I'm with you. Should have stayed home, pal. Ugh, now I have to play Mono SI into bad matchups. Because I didn't get Hecarim on 6, I actually lost this. You dare! Now what do I think is safer into this? Not deep. I think I have to play Mono SI into it. It's rough. I'm gonna have to eventually win with deep though, even if I win this game. Oh, okay, we got Wraiths. Wraiths are nice. Oh, man, I'll take Wraiths. Pitch Rekindler, get Rekindler was good. Okay, and no Elises. Play Wraith. Yeah. Then we'll play Wraith. Then 
to play Wraith. That's a one of. You got a one of weapon here. Crescendum gets out Go or another Sparkle Fly. He could probably just snipe. I'm assuming a Calibrum. Second Sparkle Fly. Okay. Each life a rare jewel. Does he not know about tough? That's a sick top deck. It's actually exactly what I needed. Five mana. Why didn't he attack with Tarek? I have zero mana <laughs> last turn. My homie forgot about tough. strong board for attack 5 though I'd say especially since he can't get any healing unless he uses spells and he can't block unless he uses multiple like it's a pretty tough position for him to be in Twelve, sixteen, nineteen potential damage. Okay, that definitely does something, and he gets the draw. No Plus four two, so he's left with one. He's gonna make a pretty big turn though, or I just counter swing again. <laughs> yeah, he has to. Do a really big turn. I don't know how you're gonna deal with this next time. Okay. We each hold a world within. Okay. How are you gonna play another? Oh, because he's gonna cast it. Makes sense to me. Shatter them. Unyielding. Yeah, that'll be the thing for you. It's fine. I'm just gonna play another fearsome. Oh, well, I guess he could do another Zenith Blade. This is a lot of damage. What is gained when we return malevolence? And all of it's fearsome. You I just don't see what all. he does about this. Yeah. That was the hard matchup. I don't know how I won that. I guess it's just Wraith Diff. Now we feast. Mono SI only dropped one game the entire tourney then, and that was the last one when I low rolled heck. Cool. Now this is the hard matchup. He's a control deck, so I get to play greedy at least. I get to develop Maokai, I get to develop Slaughter Docks and whatnot, so. Uh, maybe I can just open well. Yeah, double Jettison's a uh, way to go. I don't really care about the Thorny. 
Jessens are definitely good keeps though. And I have Vile Feast for a Zoe. Which is good. I'm glad that I'm attacking on odds so that he can't just Zoe open attack on one. I have sea monsters in hand and I have a way to get deep, so pretty good. <clears throat> Play Jaw. Danger pay. I don't expect Atrocity to ever work because of Deny. I got Beast Below on turn four is a pretty decent curve. Let's do this. And whoever just followed, really appreciate it. Much love. Thank you, thank you. Oh, this is five damage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards in hand. Almost burns them. Would have been sick if I did. Drag a dredgers. Maybe it's Drag Jaw. Then I have double jaw on attack five, which is pretty nice. Okay. What you got there, homie? Yeah, I think it's Drag Jaw. Crescendum. Very typical play. Not a surprise. You gotta go. It's kinda cool. Let's play Drag. Give me the stuff! That's my other atrocity gone and my other vengeance, so I only have one of each to work with this game. The little beast below is nice actually, I like to have vanillas. Especially since they're so cheap. He has to fly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, he doesn't. Never mind. He isn't gonna do shit. Oh my god, third jaw. <laughs> what in the world? Maybe I just triple jaw it up, right? <laughs> Depends on when I think I'm gonna go deep. <laughs> Let's go jaw. <laughs> <worth this twice laughs> <as much. laughs> what is the odds? <laughs> what? Three jaw, all three beast below? That's so weird. I can't imagine that being normal, but if I get Nautilus. These are all free over and over and over. I just get a really big board of 7-7s. Seven cool. Which I find absolutely hilarious. And if he got stunned here, then I can still kill with one of my jaws. Because I somehow managed to open all three of them. <laughs> so even stun isn't enough. And he doesn't have enough mana to do stun plus concussive. That's just hilarious. He would have to do concussive during combat if he wants to make something live. That's so strong for me. Look how much damage this is. Oh, he's gonna get Vile Feast. And make uh, Zoe live, probably. Why didn't he do that earlier? Then he would have another blocker for Jaw. It probably would have been the play. He wouldn't be eating four more damage right now. Maybe he doesn't care since he has a bunch of heals or something. That could be the case. One, two, three, four. Yeah, you gotta play now. Okay. Yeah, I guess it's Salvage Beast. He could Lee Sin, I guess. <laughs> Lee Sin, double, double gem. And then he has Lee Sin leveled this turn. Moon Silver. Extend your senses. Uh. Okay. Pretty sure I burst past this. See if he wants to commit to this Lee Sin now. That's really strong if he does. No? Are you sure you don't want to commit to this Lee Sin?
I think he messed up playing below deny range. I fight with the dragon fury. Is he also gonna burst past me? Playing some mind games. My lands need me. Prepare yourself. What are you up to? Strike firmly. Center your spirit. So I got a free gem out of this. <laughs> I guess. I think I need to open attack next turn and start developing sea monsters. Dragon. Maybe I play Beast Below Dreg now. Yeah. Here's a big one. Because if he has concussive, then he would do it during combat anyways. And this gets me a 7-7 now, because I top decked the toss three. Only Dreg and Dead Bloom Wanderer could have done this. So it's actually pretty nice for me. I guess he could star chart for a double stun, but that's a Hail Mary play. Well, if he doesn't see it, if he just doesn't see stun, that's so good. Man, there is a chance he doesn't, you know? Yeah, he gets a silence instead. It's fine. Now he has to have like a hush to prevent damage here. This is a scary attack turn. He's on six. Guess Lee Sin 2 could uh, come down, yeah. Only I can endure the dragon's fury. Act free of doubt. Okay. No. Or where's my Nautilus at, man? I know he'd probably just get kicked, but like, where are you at? I need my homie. Okay, he doesn't have um, Overwhelm yet. So that's good. Oh, shit. He yeah, could have Guiding Touch here, right? I have 10 mana, so I can play Beast Below and Atrocity. If he has Guiding Touch, then he wins. If he doesn't, then I win. Prepare yourself. That is how this is gonna go. Right? Except not, because I'm not gonna take the damage from um, Dragon's Rage, because this is going to leave the board. So I actually have a chance still. Oh, but yeah, I'm not getting Dragon's Rage, so I'm only taking 11 here now. So 
I'm pretty sure this should be open. Open attack loses to a lot of stuff though. Maybe I play. No matter what, I have to win this turn, that's for damn sure. <laughs> yeah, he could play like Sparklefly and stuff. I think it's Salvage and then Attack. I think I have to push for Lethal here. The attack favors me, because he has to heal himself, and he also has to heal his Lee Sin. Has to not die. We got him! Let's go! We went 4-1. Clean. Alright. That Atrocity reactive play was really good. I'm glad I waited till uh, combat. Well, we went 4-1. That's pretty solid.